Hi guys, so we are at page um, 358 of Trail Guide to the Body featuring um, the leg and foot, more specifically uh, foot and ankle, and we are going to be featuring the calcaneus or the heel, right, heel bone, or, um, it forms the heel of the foot. So um, we're going to be talking about the tuberosity, the, susten the sustentaculum tali, tali and peroneal trochea okay so the large solid calcaneus forms the heel of the foot it is situated between the talus and projects two inches posteriorly from the malleoli okay so the medial and lateral sides of the calcul calculus are deep to tendons yet easily palpable the tuberosity of the cal calcaneus is a rounded region so located along its posterior surface okay so the calcaneus the calcaneal tendon attaches to the superior aspect of the tuberosity. So the sustentaculum tali is located on the medial side of the calcaneus, roughly one inch distal to the medial malleolus. So it's shaped like a flank. So the sustentaculum supports the talus of the calcaneus. It is also an attachment site for the deltoid ligament and is deep to the flexor tendons. Only its small tip is accessible. Okay, so the peroneal trochea is located on the lateral side of the foot. Roughly an inch distal to the lateral malleolus, the trochea is a small superficial prominence that protrudes from the calcaneal surface to help stabilize the peroneal muscles. Okay, so um, if you can look at um, these two images here, um, if you can see the smaller image here, that's how... Um, uh, the uh, the bones are situated okay lateral view medial view we have the peroneal trochea we have the articular surface of the talus and we also have um, the articular surface of the cobboid and we have the group for the peroneal longus tendon the body the articular surface for the talus on this um, um, area we have um, three articular surfaces for tal talus my apologies we have the tuberosity we have the sustentaculum tali, or tali, and we have the groove for the flexor hallucis longus tendon. Okay, so for the tuberosity of the calcaneus, if you were um, to look at the 7.36 image, we have the lateral view <clears throat> exploring the calcaneus. Okay, so having your partner in a supine or seated position, you're going to walk your fingers distally from the malleoli down to the heel. Okay, we're going to palpate and explore the shape and girth of the posterior calcaneus. And uh, we're going to move to the plantar surface to isolate the tuberosity at the base of the heel. Okay, so the tuberosity will feel more like a flat region than a distinct bump. Okay, so um, you're going to confirm with uh, by asking yourself these questions. Um, so place one hand at the malleoli and the other at the tuberosity. And note how far the calcaneus extends posteriorly, right? Is the distance like far enough? Like you know those things. Um, be uh, be aware and be, if you can, uh, close your eyes and trying to um uh, doing the palpation the better, because you can um have that uh, sense of um also the muscles on top. You can be able to make the muscle goes. Um, it's it's really um. Um, how do you call it? A skill, a skill that sometimes you know it's based on um, intuitive. Um, and of course, a combination of your what you know really and skills all combined it will actually um consist of a good um therapy. Okay, so I'll see you guys on uh page um two hundred fifty nine. I think I have the food shop, so um I took out my insurance and I haven't been out for like many days so i need to food shop i don't have vegetables so i'll see you guys in the next video